Welcome to the heart of hell. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, and of course, welcome back to the latest trip. Now I do have to apologise before I go on for the lack of videos for the last few weeks. Again, once again, I'm very aware I've not been uh, getting out and doing much. I do have an excuse, I suppose you could call it a reason, but it is an excuse, it's not kid ourselves. Um, it's been absolutely crazy this last few weeks, really, really busy. And I get very, very small windows opportunity to, to get out uh, and do these vlogs. And the last few weeks, those windows have been pretty much slammed shut right in my face. So I've not been able to get out. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, I broke my toe. <laughs> I was rushing around the house, like I always do. I'm always rushing. I didn't have anything on my feet. And I, just, I just banged it right into a, a footstool. Would you believe it? And it just snapped. So that was just over a week ago. I was going to try and get out and do Helvellyn uh, that weekend, a couple of days after I broke it, but I couldn't even get my boot on. It was so swollen, so I had to, uh, I had to give up on that one. Um, look at me. Look at you go. That's it, girl. What I'm doing. Very windy day today. Sorry I'm interrupting, but it is a really, really wild and windy day. Lots of snow around. Grey fryer there and out towards um, Pulp Pike and Crinkles over there with a bit of snow on it, very nice. So anyway, I thought what I'd try and do is, today, I want to go up a hill, I want to go and have a look at the mountains with the snow on it. There's no snow on this particular 
uphill here, but I want to get somewhere high. But I do still have a very sore toe. I think it is still broken. Uh, it's just been over a week, so it's not fully healed. But I think a nice gentle walk like this won't hurt. And I've got my, my stiff boots on, so it should be gentle a little bit. Um, and it's only one of my little toes anyway. <sighs> so, I'm going up this one. Now, what am I on about with this whole heart of hell business? <laughs> I think I've lost the plot completely. Well, there's a reason why I keep saying heart of hell. Because on one of my previous vlogs, and I think it was actually the Greyfriar one, just up here, uh, behind the trees now, typically, um, I, I referred to this hill because, um, well, you can see it basically from up there. And this is one of my favourite hills as well. But <laughs> when I watched it back on YouTube with the closed captions on, it kept saying, uh, Heart of Hell. And I just thought, that's really quite funny, Heart of Hell. It isn't Heart of Hell, or it could be the Heart of Hell, because when we get to the top of the, the hill, you can see right across Great Moss towards the Scarfells, it does look a little bit like Mordor out there, a little bit like Hell. So maybe it is the Heart of Hell, but the real name of this hill is Heart of Fell. Now there are two Heart of Fells in the Lake District. Eskdale one, which is this one here, Eskdale Dudden, and there's one over in Mardale near High Street, near Horsewater, that, that kind of area. This is one of my favourite hills. I think actually this is my favourite hill out of all of them. Um, so I thought it would be a perfect place to come with a slightly dicky toe and uh, see how I get on. And of course the views are, are fantastic from the top. Quite a lot of trees down at the moment. Storm Arwen absolutely decimated the county last week just before I broke my toe. <laughs> Oops. And um, what was it after my toe? I can't remember. And yeah, a lot of trees down, a lot of roads cut off actually. So I've been quite lucky to get here today. Saw quite a lot of uh, storm damage on the way. Some very remote and rural roads here. Um, yeah, so it was uh, good to be able to get here today. Right. I need to dial the waffle on my tobacco a little bit here because I can already tell I'm yip yapping a bit too much. So I do apologise for that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up, slightly different route to what I did last time. One of my first vlogs I ever did, I think three or four vlogs in, I did this this fell, hard to fell. I call it the Lonely Mountain. But I went up a different way. So I've been up here since a few times uh, that that particular vlog. And I've come this way, which is obviously the, it'll be in the description, the route. And I quite like this way because you get to see the Scarfells a little bit earlier on, rather than at the top like you do on the other, the other way around. And it's a gentle uh, track up. I'd follow the track, I wouldn't follow the footpath that's mapped in the map. I did it last time and it was, uh, it was crazy. Right, I really am waffling. <laughs> I need to stop, right. Now to get up this track, and then we can get up to the open fell side, off the track, thank God, and then uh, start seeing some views. So I'll see you a bit further on. How nice the mountain's looking behind now. Absolutely beautiful, that's the back of Crinkle Crags there. All starting to open up. I mean, we're still on the track actually, but we're just about to come off it. So you get to this um, sort of turning area, I guess, for all the forestry guys that they obviously do the work up here. I'm assuming this is for parking vehicles or turning vehicles around here. Um, that's the horrendous path, you do not want to be taking that. Awful, it's marked on the map, cuts up past, I can't remember the name of the crags were now, but it's not a path, it's just horrendous, it's deep undergrowth. So, yeah, just come off that track now, onto a little path here that undulates a little bit really, up towards the fell wall, which isn't actually a fell wall, it's a, it's a fence with a gate in it. Um, and then once we go through that, 
It's uh, <laughs> she's going crazy. She loves the grass. Look at her go! Look, honestly, nuts. Yeah, once we're through that gate, then we're on the fell side proper. Then and we just make our way up some steep bits up to the top of Hart. Heart of Hell. <laughs> What's called it? Heart of Hell. See, honestly, YouTube kills me. So uh, yeah, really beautiful spectacular views at the moment everywhere in every direction so let's just spin around I just I say that and I'm now right amongst the trees let's get past these trees and I'll uh, spin you around and show you what we can see from this point already right let's go past those trees and uh, actually no I haven't I'm still bloody stuck behind it's getting a bit further on right, I've got clear of those trees now so as I said a minute ago hopefully you can see it on this camera that's the back of Crinkle Crags, right there. A lot of snow up there, but a lot of people having loads of fun in the snow. And I'm not. <laughs> Damn it, stupid toe, stupid footstool. Uh, and you can see Paul Pike here as well, which drops down to Rhinos Pass, and then back up to Greyfriar there, which is in the snow as well. You can see a little bit of brim fell. You might not be seeing this, might be a little bit blown out on here. A bit of brim fell. Pointy one is Dow Crag. But yeah, looking nice. Looking very nice indeed, and we're getting a little fleeting uh, smatterings of sunshine on the snow. So I'm hoping I might get some nice photographs today. Um, but you never know, because there's a heck of a lot of blue sky around. And as you well know, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of blue sky, unless I'm on a beach. Uh, yeah, I don't like it really. Okay, through the gate, now on the fell proper, fell side. This first section is a little bit Bogsville, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit that. It's quite wet and soggy around here um, on this flatter section, but as we move further up, it gets steeper and rockier, and all that kind of goes away, it gets more drier, so yeah. I mean, you can actually see the summit as well now. You can see that that pointy bit at the top. <laughs> Pretty obvious, really, isn't it? The pointy bit at the top is the top of the mountain. Wow, amazing! So, in a minute, as we get a little bit higher and above this crag here, we'll be able to see right out towards the Scarfells, which is pretty much in that direction there. So, I'm rather excited about that. I've not seen them yet today. They will be covered in snow, absolutely no doubt about it. If all these guys are, then they definitely will be. I appreciate I made that look harder than it actually was, but there's loads of bog around it. There's a massive puddle there, and it is really deep bog. But the thing that made it harder is the fact that there's loads of barbed wire around there as well. So I didn't want to get myself snagged in that as I jumped off. Beautiful though, isn't it? Beautiful and bleak, which is exactly what I like the most. That kind of bleak environment. And it's cold and it's windy and it's... Oh, I just love it. Right, just up from that style you get your first glimpse of the Scarfell, so you can see them right there. Uh, it probably looks a bit rubbish in this camera, uh, because there's a lot of blue sky above it and it's all blown out. And it probably looks really far away. It's actually pretty close. It looks pretty close. Really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. But that blue sky needs to go. It's no good. It needs to be like that. 
over grey fryer. That's that's looking nice. That's the kind of stuff I like. That. Yeah. <laughs> a beautiful environment. This is hard not in the foreground here. This this lump. And we'll be pretty much when we get to the top, we'll be looking across the top of that uh, out towards Scarfells, and we'll be able to see Borfell as well soon. Yeah, very nice indeed. So uh, Finn's loving it. Aren't you, Phineas? Where the hell she is? <laughs> get a coat on soon. When we get to the top, I think I'll put a coat on because when we stop, that wind is icy. I mean, it's it's really really cold. Forecast is zero degrees, but with the wind, it, it's going to feel like uh, like minus ten. So we need to one get out the wind and two rug up both of us. Anyway, oh, loving it. Not seen a single person yet. Nobody. Not one person. Not even at a distance. So there was no one at the car park there when I parked up, and there's been no one else. Not heard anybody. Not seen anybody. Wonderful. It's this time of year, see, so you know, it's uh, it's cold, it's windy. Uh, it's, it puts a lot of people off, I think. And this this part of the lakes, I mean, I can tell you right now, the old man would be rammed. You can see it now to the left of Dow Crag. You can't see it up here. <laughs> and crinkles will be rammed, ish, and scaffold pike will be rammed with lots of uh, people. I want to say around, but it won't be around, but there'll be, there'll be a substantial amount of people uh, walking up to those mountains today. Waffle on it seems to be creeping up a little bit, so uh, I'm going to shut up and push on. So I'll see you a bit further on. Morning about that blue sky quite a lot, but really nice ethereal light around at the moment. So you never know, could get some good shots. I mean, both fells starting to look quite interesting there. Very blue, a lot of blue going on. Uh, kind of a bit of a steep section this now, um, but because it's short and steep, you get the drop. <laughs> nearly. I was nearly on my ass. Actually, I was nearly on my camera. I was nearly on my ass via my camera. Can you imagine? <gasps> Scary. So yeah, because it's short and steep, as I was saying. Um, we get to the summit quite rapidly now. But the tour's holding up. Quite happy about it. There's no feeling there whatsoever, which could be a bad thing. <laughs> it might have just kind of disconnected altogether. But I'm not in pain, so that's good. Um, just enjoying these views. It's just, oh, it's staggering. Look at it. It is mind blowing. Okay, summit is just here. So, about another, it's difficult to tell how far it is, but from this point, about 10 minutes stroll up to the top. Um, temperature has dropped significantly. Uh, the, the ground, though there's a little bit of water on it, it's starting to crisp up a little bit. So the time now is round about 12 o'clock midday and um, sunset's around about 3.30ish, somewhere between 3.30 and 4. So I've got quite a long time to wait because the plan was, loose plan, to stay up here and wait for sunset and just watch the the light change over on the mountains here because uh, it'll obviously get softer and well, it could just get absolutely beautiful, you know. But that's a long wait, so um, I'll have to just get up there and assess the situation. I don't mind waiting for three and a half hours. My worry is the furry one, old fuzzy face here. I mean, I've got her dog suit, so she should be warm if I get out of the wind, but. Well, we'll see. Like I say, temperature has dropped significantly. 
nearly 600 meters here now so you know it drops about a degree per 100 meter elevation so yeah it's pretty cold of Hartfell and as you can see there's been a little bit of uh, dusting of snow but, uh, but not a lot at all it's obviously cold enough to have a lot of snow here and high enough but I guess the range didn't reach here the snow didn't reach here when it, when it put it down on the other mountains uh, or maybe well, just a little bit of it maybe but looking out towards the Irish Sea I mean wow looking beautiful out there but what I'm going to do is, I don't think my usual spot where I normally sit, that I call a balcony, I don't think that's going to be very sheltered. I think we're moving right into the wind here. Yeah, it's absolutely wild as anything here. It's a real shame. This is where I normally sit. This is what I call the balcony, because it is it's fantastic. Almost like a like a theatre balcony or box or whatever. Looking out on that amazing show that is the Scarfells. significant amount of time has passed since I last uh, spoke <laughs> and the weather's completely changed I mean it's, it was all clagged in before very grey and cold it's still cold and it's still very windy but this sunlight is absolutely gorgeous let me spin you around look at it now out towards the pike uh, Scaffold Pike 
the scarf hole. But yes, it's all opened up now, and you can see Hard Knot Fort down there, Hard Knot Pass, Roman Fort, which I don't think I saw last time. It's all a little bit clagged in and rubbish, so. <laughs> fed up, absolutely fed up. We've been here about two and a half hours now, just getting a bit of time lapse and just watching this this drama as it changes. I mean, it's literally changing every minute now. If I just spin around here, hopefully, I'll be able to see this beautiful view here as well. Check this out towards the Irish Sea. Layer upon layer, you might not be able to see it. I'll try and show it to you. Up towards Black Coombe. Absolutely gorgeous. Okie dokie, it's now that time of day where I've pretty much got to head back down. I don't have to, I can stay a bit longer, but the sun is almost down. It's looking beautiful. Black Coombe, a little bit of shaftage out there. You might not be able to see, it might be a bit too bright now actually. Um, and out towards the uh, Corny Fell and all that kind of uh, malarkey. She's had a good day. I've had a great day. So what? What we're going to do is we came up the east side of uh, Hartfell and we're going to head off now down the west side, which is pretty much the way I came up on that very first um, Hartfell vlog that I did a few years ago. So we're going to go back down that route. It's steep in sections, but once you're down to the track, it's, it's dead easy. Nice little bimble back into the car park, but yeah. What a spot, what a beautiful place. We are up there for about, must have been about three and a half hours actually in the end, just waiting. Well, not really waiting, just enjoying, you know. And we've got some herdies down here, look. Honestly, who needs Scotland? This is an absolutely stunning landscape. I've always loved it round here. And you know, the drive in to the beginning of the walk when you're coming down the Duddon Valley, it is very similar to Glen Etive. I, I think it is anyway. It's got that Scottish feel to it, quite remote. But uh, yeah, gorgeous. Not a breath of wind now on this side of the hill. So I think it was a good idea. I was, I was kind of toying with the idea of going back down the same way. You know, if the light had been amazing, it would have been a shame to have turned my back on it and come this way and missed all the drama on the mountains that way. But as it turned out, it all went a bit hazy and a bit soft. So um, I'm glad because I reckon it'd be still really windy over that side. It's quite nice to get a bit of respite. I'm running out of light rapidly, that's not a problem. It's okay, because I kind of like walking in the dark and I've got a new torch, a new head torch, which should make filming in the dark possible as well. Um, we'll see. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> right, Waffledge is continuing, so I'm going to crack on and uh, get down to the van. So I'll see you a bit further down. Hey, hurdies. All right, I've actually dropped down now off the fell side um, onto this path. Which you won't be able to see it, it's just a black void probably. But this is the path that's gonna take me back down to the main track, um, the one that vehicles can go on. But it's still looking really nice out there. Wow, what a beautiful evening. Um, it is getting quite dark, I can hardly see. I've got terrible eyes, terrible night vision. So I've got my torch here. So I might, in a minute, 
once my eyes are completely unable to adjust, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll switch on and carry on. That's where we went earlier on today. on the bridge by the uh, Burke's Bridge car park. This isn't actually Burke's Bridge, Burke's Bridge is a bit further on. Um, but I'm back in the car park, van's just here. It's pitch black, I can't see a flipping thing, so I'm gonna wrap up pretty quickly. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a fantastic walk. Um, amazing weather, kind of hard weather really. A lot of wind, very, very cold, but very, very enjoyable. I think I've got some nice photographs. Hopefully, got some nice footage for you guys to to watch. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so if you liked it, you're the usual uh, like and subscribe and all that kind of business. And uh, I want to try and find a pub, another pint. I think I'm going to go to the um, Three Shires actually. Go over Rhinos Pass and drop into Little Langdale and go to Three Shires. Get myself a nice mm, pint. So I'll um, I'll see you on the next adventure. I'm not sure where that's going to be. But I'll see you there. Cheers, guys. Right, Finn. Go to the pub? Yeah? Can we go to the pub? Yeah.